yes. Look at her. Lady Red. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, there she is. <laughs> now, Woo! give me your best Britney look. Yeah. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Look It Hall, the Hey Queen after show where we have our famous guest spill some tea or even throw some shade on some of their famous friends. All right, so you know how to play this game, yes. right? I love this game. Uh, yes, and I want you to just give it your all, darling, because okay. I know you have a lot to say. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Unedited. Unedited. Okay. Okay. You think you know, you have no idea. The this laugh the of Brittany Jean Spears. Brady right. Spears. <laughs> All right, let us begin. Look at her. I love her. Uh, Chad Michaels yes. is my angel. Mm -hmm. That is my that is my ticket into this business. Yeah. And when you meet Chad Michaels first, and that's the first drag queen you ever meet, you're gonna aspire to be at the top of the game like he mm -hmm. is. And yeah. that is why he's my angel. Mm -hmm. And I love that it's his name. I love that Chad Michaels is his name. One of the most humble queens, yep. too. You know, just really a sweet, sweet person. Mm -hmm. And it was because of Chad Michaels that you were like, I also want to be Derek Barry, because everyone yes. should know who I am. Yeah, and then when I met uh, Frank Marino, obviously, right. in Divas, or Lacage at that time, and RuPaul. Those yeah. are, that's their names, that's their brand. I love that they went with their name, and then they can create characters along the way. Yeah. For sure. Look at her. <laughs> Who is that? Who is she? <laughs> oh, is that Acid Betty? Yeah. Is it? Oh, oh okay. okay. Um, uh, yeah, you had a little uh, friction with her yeah. on uh, your season. Well, uh, I don't really like acidic things, so we didn't <laughs> mesh well. Uh, the thing that I, I will say is when you're on a season with these girls, whether you like them or not, whether you get along, you're still sisters. Yeah. And I think a lot of the times, Acid Betty's been in the business a, a while, and she's very over things. Like, she, she doesn't want to do this, doesn't want to do that. This is too long to be in drag. I don't want to go there. Uh -huh. And I'm the opposite that's like, well, we're only doing this once. Like, let's experience this together. Let's have fun. Yeah. And she would often tell me that she loves my point of view and I kind of talked a different sense into her. And so I, I think we definitely mesh well because we are polar opposites. Hmm. And I, I like think that, that that's great to have people like that in your life. All right, sisters for life. Yeah. Look at her. Oh, Pheromone. Pheromone oh, hey. coming up on her season. I love her. Now, where do you know, hey. where did you first get to know her? I was performing at Cher in Las Vegas. It's a, it was a nightclub. Oh, she's a Vegas queen, right? And yes, and she had not lived there yet, but she came to Vegas for fun, and she was so excited while I was performing and hair flipping, and she was living. And I met her afterwards, and she told me how much of an icon I was for her and how big of a fan she was, and she loves Britney, too. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, right away, I I just thought, what a beautiful, beautiful woman. Like that's a woman. That's not a, that's, even a, a that's woman. not drag. Yeah. <laughs> it's not drag. Like she's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, and and she's got such a sweet personality, and I love her. Yeah, she really Very does. Excited. She really does look that beautiful in person. Oh yeah. Uh huh. It's not Photoshop. No. She really is that beautiful. She's that pretty. And she is so much fucking fun yeah. to hang out with. A lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Look at how pussy she is. I'm pussy cut, pussy <laughs> cut. Yeah. With hair is having so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the clock the pussy? Clock that pussy. <laughs> which one's which? <laughs> look at her. Oh, my goodness. Well, the ultimate. Well, there's Woo! God. There's God me herself. Godney. That right? is God me. That was a very good era. Oh. They had just gotten her back in the wigs. Her medication was stabilized right out. Oh, and Vegas. Gosh. She's come, She's a showgirl. Look mm. at that. Uh-huh. The feathers, the blondes did that outfit. They did a lot of the, these looks. Uh, Brittany is just a goddess. Like, I would not do, I would not be doing drag without her. And uh, I aspire to be that perfect, for sure. Bless her. Bless She's her. given us a lot of entertainment over the years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, look at her. Chanel. Chanel. Yay. Well, we have a little history. You do. I uh, dated Chanel for a very short period. Of Interesting. Time. And 
That's when I realized that two drag queens should probably not be dating. <laughs> Until your current situation. <laughs> yeah, but that's like kind of a baby fetus for me. So. Right, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, something's in my throat. Uh, Chanel. There's a little bit of Chanel left in there. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> oh, God. I knew I should have spit. Um, <laughs> this is the thing. She is one of the most amazing MCs I've ever seen. Mm. I can go to her show and laugh hysterically till I'm crying because she's so funny. She's that gorgeous all the time. She's a perfectionist. I love that about her. Um, one on one, we were great. It was hard to be with her in certain settings because she's very grand mm. and I'm not that way. And You're I like remember, Brittany Jane, just a regular girl. I'm just a girl from the South. Right. I, I want my, uh, my grits and my fried chicken. Um, and my father's always <laughs> looking for duct tape, y'all. Why? I don't know. I, I, people <laughs> like it. Uh, so there was one, I'm, I'm, you wanted honesty, so I'm going to be honest. Yeah. We were driving down the street when we were dating, and uh, she, we got into a conversation, and she said, well, I just really don't think you could do what I do. And I was like, oh, um, what is it that you do? And she's like, no, I mean, like, I, I can come out on stage, like, in a gown and earrings and updo and glamour, and I just don't know if you can do that. And I was like, yeah, but I can come out on stage and do Britney, so I don't think you can do what I do. <laughs> and that, for me, when you're in a partnership with people, and I never even talked to him about this, you're supposed to be so supportive of mm. one another, and I didn't feel the support. I wasn't interested in coming out in a ball gown and right. updos and earrings. Like, bitch, I want to flip my hair. I'm not going to do that in a, in a gown. And if I am wearing a gown, it's going to be a tearaway because there's a bathing suit underneath it. <laughs> so I think it was hard for me to be with someone that uh, thought I was so one-dimensional. Right. And didn't think that there's a lot of facets to what I do. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, I took a break from dating men because that was an interesting relationship. <laughs> mm. And then I, Nick and I started dating about a year later. And you know, I think that that's why this works because we do support each other yeah. 110% and we work together interdependently and we have fun together. Mm -hmm. There's no egos, it's, it's really like a team. Well, and it was such a learning experience for me because I would never tell him, I don't think you could do what I do. Right. He embraced. I actually tell Derek, I don't think that I could do what you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, I couldn't. And that's why he is this drag persona. You know, he's not looking to impersonate someone, and I mm -hmm. love that. And I always tell him, you could do any makeup you want because you don't have to look like anyone. That's right. So have fun with it. Experiment with yeah. color. Like, be fun, be outrageous, be courageous because it, you can really make a name for yourself in this business that way. Mm -hmm. Love it. The I Chanel do love Chanel. Tea. The Chanel tea say. was delicious. I love Chanel. Look at all. So I'm, I'm happy for her. Larry. 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 Oh, we Girl, love Larry. That's the hottest chocolate you will ever sip on. <laughs> yes. I met Larry. He had already left Lacage, and I, I met him in Vegas. He was so sweet. Uh, came to the show to introduce himself to me. He would take me out to lunch or dinner. He just wanted to get to know me because I was the new kid in town. And uh, oh, he's just been such, such a blessing in life. Like the spirit that he has, he will congratulate you more than anyone else in the world. So generous of spirit, Always. totally. I love him. Always. And I, genuine. Yeah, just 100%. Larry is, uh, he's, he's the business. And really if is. you stand really close to him, you'll probably end up on the front page of a newspaper yeah, or true. a magazine. Because Larry is a magnet for press. Yeah. <laughs> he's always on the cover of something or on a it. billboard. Or... Oh, I love him. Oh, yeah. he's the greatest. We love you, Larry. Please come sit on Yay. our couch. Love you, Larry. Look at him. Robbie Turner. Robbie Turner. Yay. I'll cut you for now, free. Now, who knew you guys were um, Lady Gaga competing competitors I know. at one point? Yeah. Who would have thought? We, well, I had done Pride in Seattle, and uh, he was doing Gaga at uh, a nightclub, and he came, you know, to meet me, and we got a picture together, and he was so sweet. I love Robbie. Mm -hmm. Actually, what's funny, we both auditioned for Seven. Uh, I hadn't uh, gotten anywhere in the process. And he had been maybe hearing back, or I don't know how far he was along, but I think we both kind of knew that we didn't get it. They were already on their way to film. And he's like, well, 
I hope that we uh, disappear together next year for maybe a month's vacation. And I said, I hope we do too. And we ended up on season eight together. So it's just so weird a year later, like what, what can happen? Yeah, it was, amazing. It was magic. I love him. My only friend. <laughs> <Robbie> <laughs> <Hurt>. <laughs> Look at that.